Hey guys, welcome to this video. This video is going to be a day with Uso. Look at this guy, just waiting outside for me. So this is the personality of my Corso. They love to be with one owner. And so when I'm inside the house, he really has no interest in anything else. He just wants to lay down outside the house and wait for me to come out. And so here I'm gonna demonstrate my dog's drive with his toys. And uh, this is gonna display his drive and his energy and his willingness to want to please. And so he is considered a high drive dog. And it's a lot of work to train a dog with high drive. But I'm gonna demonstrate what you can achieve with a drive like Uso. No. No. Back. Down. Stand. Back. Back. Good. Sit. Stand. Stay. Back. Good. 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 Stand. Stay. Back. Back. Stay. Good. Stay. Down. Recall. Recall. Good. Side. Good. Okay. Sit. Good. Okay. Good job, buddy. I'm telling you. My Corso loves to work. As you can see, when I'm inside the house, he is in front of the door, just waiting for me to come out, right? So as soon as I come out, boom, tail wags, time to play, time to, time to work. He likes to work. When he sees me, he sees work. That's just the characteristics you're gonna find from a Connie Corso. If uh, you, the owner, are not with him, he's very sad, very depressed, very, you know, just waiting for you to come out. And as soon as you come out, he just wants to play. He wants to work for you. He wants to please you. So, you know, just just know that if you plan on getting a Connie Corso, um, just know that your dog just wants to please you all the time. So you have to work him. It's not a dog that's just, you know, gonna be lazy all day. Like when you show up, he wants to work. It's a pretty high energy dog. So there's an example, and as you can see, once you work the dog and you know you let him earn what he wants, he's pretty satisfied. And now he's just chilling. And I can get his attention real easily if I want to. Uso! Sit! No, stay. Sit. Sit. Side. Okay, good boy. Good boy. Go get it. There it is. If you take the time to train your dog, um, especially Connie Corso, they, um, they're very loyal, you know? And even though he desires this toy very much, he still respects my verbal commands and he respects me and you know he still desires my commands over the toys and that's what you get from training you know you get a dog that's responsive no matter what the distractions are uh, I'm sorry I'm kind of distracted checking out these chickens here we got so many so many chickens in there. She Place. Uh. 
Sit. Good boy. All right, so for his breakfast, we're just gonna do, we're gonna do some chicken, like half frozen chicken drums. And you can see, I bought a whole pack for 381. It's a five pound bag. So I bought this at Walmart. You can find good deals over there. And so for today, you know, this helps clean his teeth too. Because it's frozen, it makes it harder to eat and it rubs against his teeth and cleans it. And at the same time, uh, raw bones is good, is okay for dogs. When the bones are raw, they can digest it. What you don't want to do is feed your dog cooked bones. Because once you cook the bone, it changes the consistency of the bone and makes it hard for dogs to digest it. So his feeding schedule today is just going to be chicken here for breakfast. We're gonna give him four pieces. And then for dinner time, we're gonna give him some rice, raw eggs, and kibble with some fish oil. Yeah, good, Uso. You want another one? Sit. Good boy. Stay. And so I'm also going to work on focus. Helps him keep his focus on me. Okay, good. Raw food is probably going to be the best source of food you can give your dog. It's got good protein, good nutrients, it's got vitamins, uh, it's got the bone marrow. But you know, I understand that not everyone can do that. And the money is, is the biggest part of it. Money and the, how often you have to go and shop and where you're going to store it. You know, a lot of people, if they feed their dogs raw, they um, they usually have to get uh, their own dedicated freezer. Especially if you have a big dog like this. So we'll go ahead and give one more. And I don't fully feed my dog raw. Raw is kind of like a uh, like a special treat for my dog. I wish I could, but just don't have the money for it. Don't have the space for it. And so after I give him this chicken, we're gonna go ahead and give him a little bit of kibble. But you don't want to do it at the same time. Like when you give your dog kibble, you don't want to just throw chicken chicken food in there because. <clears throat> <clears throat> the dog needs to learn how to fully chew and break down the chicken bones first. So it's a good thing to give him the chicken bone, let him fully eat it, digest it, take his time with it. And then you can feed him the kibble separately. So feed him on both sides of the mouth so that way both both sides can get clean both sides of the mouth the teeth on both sides can get clean see how he just chews that down and that's safe for dogs all right you guys okay, you can see his teeth it's, it's not the cleanest you know, but it'll get there. The more you feed them raw, the more they chew on bones, frozen fish, 
their teeth get clean. All right, we're all done. All done, Uso. Sorry, man. You still hungry? I'll give you some kibble outside, all right? Before I go to work, I'll give you some. That was good, huh? Okay. All right, so now that it's the end of the day, spend time with Uso before I tell him to go to sleep and I head into the house. But this is one way I bond with my dog. And this is also one way to see his health and how his bones are, his muscles, his skin, his fur. If there's any fleas, ticks, I examine for any pain in his hips. I test his motor movements. And I also give a massage and a deep, uh, deep tissue um, massage, pretty much, you know. Dogs like this, this is um, like a quality, quality time, you know, you really, you're really spending time with the dog and you're just letting the dog know that you care for him. And the dog knows, you know, when you're touching the dog in this kind of fashion and you're feeling around and you're, you're checking him from head to toe, the dog knows what you're doing and the dog respects what you're doing. And this is a really good time for you to see and look for any problems the dog might have. So this is the end of the video here, you guys. I hope you kind of enjoyed a day with Uso. Hope you guys all have a blessed day. We're gonna go and nap and we're gonna call it a day. You guys all have a blessed day. Thank you for the support. Good night.